In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a Cloudmersive document conversion connector we can use to split text lines into separate documents using a string delimiter of our choosing. We can, for example, use this connector action to take large CSV files and divide them up into separate files line by line. Let's look at how this works. Let's start by clicking Create and selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. Let's go with a manually triggered flow so we can have full control over our data in a quick limited test. Let's click Add an Action and search for a Get File Content Action. My demo file lives in OneDrive, so I'm using that option. When we're ready, let's click Add an Action again, and then let's type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Let's scroll down this list until we find the Cloudmersive document conversion connector, and then let's click See More to look at the actions list. If it's our first time using this connector, we'll need to provide authentication details before we can take advantage of the actions list. We can use this connector for free with a free tier API key, and we can get one of those by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Free tier API keys will allow a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitment. Once we reach the actions list, let's scroll down to the bottom and look for the action called split a single text file by a string delimiter. Let's click on it once we find it. When we have the parameters tab open, let's start by entering our file content into the first field, and then let's enter a file name into the second field. With that out of the way, we can now specify the string delimiter we're going to use to split our file on. This can be anything from the commas between values to the values themselves. It completely depends on what our goal is. Like I mentioned earlier, my goal in this demonstration is to split each line using the vertical spacing between lines as my delimiter, so I'm simply hitting enter in this field. It's now going to read each line change as the correct time to create a new document. If we click Show All on our advanced parameters at the bottom, we'll see we also have the option to determine if empty elements should be skipped in the output. This doesn't really apply to what I'm doing right now, so I'm going to leave this blank. Let's now add one final action here to create our new CSV files. I'm using a OneDrive connector once again to keep things simple. After we specify our target folder, let's give our file a relevant name, and then let's find dynamic content labeled element number to organize our file outputs appropriately. Once we select this option, Power Automate will immediately wrap our create file action in a control called for each because it knows this operation is going to create multiple files. In the file content field, we can enter dynamic content labeled element contents to fill each line with the data that corresponds to its element number. We can now minimize our parameters tab and go about saving and testing our flow. In our target folder, we should now have one file for each line in our original document. Just like that, we can easily divvy up our CSV files into separate documents and use that output seamlessly in our data projects. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations.